Hey there, girl travelers, welcome back. Seeing as I've been showing you inside of my travels and offering tips, I thought I'd go ahead today and do something a little different and share with you my travel camera gear. Um, being a blogger and a vlogger, because I have my girl traveler website where I write things and I have my uh, YouTube channel where I vlog things and create videos and then I also have my social media accounts which I have to maintain too and show you inside and kind of like update you on on my travels and my life um, because I have to juggle all that that's pretty much my world when I travel it's to some degree it's also changed the way I travel these days a lot of a lot of times when I travel I'm already thinking about how I'm gonna share the information with you and the best way to share the information with you um, when I go someplace. As a result, this happens to be a big part of my life. Right here. This is my travel gear for this trip. Um, my camera gear and my tech gear. Yes, this is how much stuff I carry. The majority of this stuff goes in my backpack and my camera bag. And I carry it around wherever I sightsee. Yeah, like maybe one third of it stays in my my bag, um, in my luggage or in like uh, my secondary bag. And my laptop right there. Um, currently, the battery is dying and I'm freaking out um, because I don't know what to do. And it's the worst possible time to for it to break down. iPhone and my external batteries. These are batteries I've just collected over time. And I'm not going to replace it until I breaks. All the things that need to be charged are right here. These are all the batteries that need to be charged. Um, I was on the bus today and using my iPhone a lot. So that's all this stuff for that, to keep it alive for hours. Here's my chargers. Here is for these. These are two external hard drives. Seeing as this is pretty much a work trip as well as my own personal travel, I needed to bring a backup external drive and that's because, you know, in the case anything happens to the first drive, I'm always covered because I back myself up on the second drive and this is a lot of stuff that I'm filming. Over the course of nine days, that's a lot of footage. So for one of them to go down, I'd probably cry. Microphone for my DSLR and my windscreen and it looks pretty intimidating. It's called a dead cat. <laughs> Nice cat, nice kitty, nice kitty. Um, but I haven't needed to use it yet, and thank goodness because that would just be one more thing to juggle uh, when I have like three DSLR lenses, one and two pocket cameras, like two, one, two. This is where it all happens. This and this is where all the work happens. And my laptop. I have my wide angle lens, I have a zoom lens, as well as a regular, you know, standard kit lens. Um, I haven't gotten lenses for this because I'm not sold on the idea that I'm, I don't necessarily want to upgrade it. My memory cards are right here. I carry, I usually carry a stash of them as well as my reader, card reader, earbuds, another card reader just in case because I've had some card readers crap out on me and so when I'm trying to work in this kind of environment, you know, it's just not that conducive to have things crapping out on you. So what I like to do is I like to narrow down the crappability of my equipment so that I'm not running around town at the very last minute looking for, you know, replacements of things. Right now that laptop is just killing me because I've I've really worked on downsizing that crappability and now the crappability just happened. So that's just shit. Obviously these are not going to be enough to hold all of this but it's still it's still pretty good um, and it's lightweight so usually I'll switch them out or I'll look for other um, plugs somewhere in the room down there there's there's one my gobi um, tripod which is comes in super handy I haven't wrapped it around trees yet here is my selfie stick it's a pretty pretty good and intense selfie stick um, this merged with my tripod. Together, these things make an actual tripod. A very precarious one, but it's still a working one. This isn't all my camera gear for vlogging, but it's the majority of it. And so that's why it's important for me to always be prepared. The reason why I prefer like these normal looking hiker backpacks versus a camera bag is because depending on the country I go to I don't want to look like I have a lot of stuff so a backpack looks like a backpack taking this amount of equipment with me on my travels 
it does change the way I travel and being a travel blogger and a youtuber that also changes the way I travel a lot of times I'm running around from morning from the moment I wake up to midnight I'm, I'm running around trying to figure out how to get to a place um, taking tr public transportation or trying to learn about the culture um, explore things so that I can find things to share with you as well I have to learn all this stuff because when I actually go on camera like I am right now you see my face you see this video running um, I can't take away anything that I I said or add anything that I haven't said um, so that's the hard part is whenever I'm in a spot I have to make sure that I whatever I say that's gonna be it like eternal so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up or a like subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below uh, until then travel safe smart and fun I will see you on the road may the girl be with you